Honourable ladies and gentlemen, Daniel J. Lewis. What more can I say? Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Looks like everyone's gone home. All the empty seats. <laughs> okay, over here from, from Canada on the right. Canada is good. Hello. From Canada, congratulations. It was a wonderful performance in a wonderful movie. What was the most difficult part about getting to the heart of Christy Brown? It's so difficult to answer a question like that because, because my... My desire to, to borrow Christie's life came from a response to his life in its entirety. And although, of course, there were a number of problems involved in the making of the film, um, um, my desire to make it was such that, uh, that I never really singled out any aspect of his life for particular scrutiny or found any particular aspect of his life particularly difficult to discover because the discovery, my discovery of him was the discovery of an extraordinary life in its entirety. Um, I don't think I've ever really been able to be objective enough to, to answer that. Okay, over here on the left. Daniel, you very generously gave credit to a marvelous young actor, Hugh O'Connor, in your acceptance speech, who played Christie as a yeah. lad. I'm curious as to whether he watched you or you watched him or did you work independently? As it turned out, um, we worked in the preparation time, we worked independently from each other. Um, um, it was necessary for me to complete all the shooting that I had to do um, before Hugh, and Hugh then did the substance of his work by looking at the tapes of the work that I'd done. So it was a sort of back to front. Hey, Daniel? Are you just overwhelmed by this? Is this? Yes. <laughs> Everyone says that, don't they? Everyone says they can't believe in the song, but. The truth is, you really can't. Big Genie? This film uh, generated sympathy, but it also generated inspiration among so many people. It's a very particular story. Why do you think it touched so many people? And what in your performance do you think helped do that? I don't know if I can answer that part of it. Um, Well, what I hope is true is that people are, have come to a point where they're prepared to understand more about the lives of disabled people. That's not what the film is about, but certainly the fact that people are able to enjoy it must mean that that is true, because there's been such a huge resistance to acknowledging the, the lives of disabled people in society. And it seems that, uh, that uh, we demand of disabled people that they... That they um, remove themselves from our sight as far as possible, that the, they offend our sense of order in some way. The thing about Christie, I think what people love about him, what I loved about him, is his fury, is the fact that he insisted on confronting things, um, confronting people's in inability to deal with him every day of his life. And he did it sometimes with a terrifying rage and sometimes with the most incisive humor. And I, I think people respond to that. I think it's also, I think people also respond to the incredible sense of family life. Because Jim, Jim Sheridan, who, who made the film, he understands that domestic life of working class Dublin very well. It's a very particular life. And that was the source of Christa's strength. And I think it is remarkable when you have an insight into, into um, a, a unit like that, a powerful unit like that. I don't two know. More picture, two more questions. I'm curious about about sure. I don't mean this in a negative way, but you're almost like the dark horse. People talk about Tom Cruise and Morgan primarily, and then all of a sudden you start generating this kind of groundswell recently. Just tell me your thoughts. I'm curious what your thoughts are going into that, whether you expect this at all, and if it crossed your mind, or if you said, fine, let him think about them. What's so difficult is that people, if people begin to expect it for you, then, uh, then it's sort of hard to close off your ears. and. Because, I, you know, I mean, I, you can't imagine the scenes probably that are going on in Ireland at the moment. But, but last time I was there was when the day that the nominations were announced. And I went over for a party which Noel had organized. 
And it was like, it, it was like Stephen Roach winning the Tour de France. It was like Ireland getting into the World Cup. And everyone really wanted it to happen. And it appalled me for a moment, that responsibility, because I felt that it was a really outside chance, you know, a really slim chance that we had of getting anything. I thought, how are we going to go back to this place and face these, all these people? Well, I'll try to make all of them. I don't know. If I'll <laughs> okay, over here on the right. So, are are you relieved that it's over now? And how do you plan to celebrate? I'm sorry. What was? Are the you are you relieved that it's all over now? And and how do you plan to celebrate? I think the truth is, I am actually relieved because it does engender a huge amount of tension. Uh, this occasion, and um, well, I hope I'll be able to celebrate it as much as possible with the people that are here who made the film, and they've all come over here. I mean, they're sleeping in cars, and probably half of them have been arrested. I don't know, but they're all, most of them are here, and I think they're gathering in a particular place at a certain time, so I guess there'll be some well, madness I think we should, tonight. Oh, Virginia, I have one last question, and then we're going to let Nolan Mr. Jim Lewis go and celebrate with his friends. Noel and Jim said that you were the important part of getting this picture made, and that the only way they convinced you to do it was that you thought, and they thought it was impossible. Can you now remember back to the point when when it was seeming impossible to play this man who yes, couldn't speak. Yes, when, when I first um, came across the script, when I first, I mean, when it was when Chris's life was first described to me by Noel, um, it wasn't with a mind to making a film, and I was intrigued just for, by the pleasure of hearing this incredible story. But when I read the script, at one and the same time, I was thinking this is not possible, and yet it's completely irresistible. Okay, thank you very much. And Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr.